now a lawyer uh, of course uh, his name Ugo Chuku Oswago has called on the chairman of independent national electoral commission Mahmoud Yakubu to obey court order by presenting himself before a federal high court in Abuja on August the 14th Oswago pointed out that disobedience to uh, court orders and disrespect for the judiciary is a call to anarchy uh, let's now bring in uh, a lawyer, a constitutional lawyer, Lanka Ladanios, to uh, help us uh, put this into Bert's eye view. Thank you very much indeed for coming. Thank you. Well, it is not in doubt that disobedience to court orders is, in the words of Oswago, a call to anarchy. Very well. Well, uh, the INEC uh, boss, Mahmoud, through his counsel, Awomolo, uh, has um, you know, called on the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Baba Kamalami, to disqualify uh, Justice Pam for bias against him. Do you think that the CGN is likely to grant this? Well, <laughs> it, is, um, it is appalling mm -hmm. and uh, very laughable. You know, sometimes when you see some of our seniors mm -hmm. and, um, in this field, and you, when you see some tactics, some um, uh, um, technicalities, they use mm -hmm. to just waste the time of the court. One, why will a senior advocate be asking a chief judge to probably uh, um, take a file of a particular um, uh, um, court mm. if you have not been able to prove to the court that, oh, there's a, bi uh, there's a, there's a sense of bias mm. or, or something. You've not been able a to prove that. Against your client. Against your client. You've not been able to do that, yet you are asking the court to vacate the file from the court. One, on three occasions. Your client has disobeyed court order. Mm. What did you do? It is your duty as, uh, as a justice of the peace mm -hmm. to make sure that you tell your client to obey court order first. Mm -hmm. Even if there is any issue, then we must follow due process. You cannot encourage your client to disobey court orders mm. at wills and do not expect judicial anarchy. No. What do you tell the junior ones that are coming up mm. to do? So every day, year in year, well, we, it has become a terror it has become the order of the day of every uh, um, uh, um, government officials mm -hmm. or government appointees yes. to disobey the court orders at will and nobody come to do anything or say anything. If you dis it is clear that if the court has given an order, mm. you obey. If you need to appeal, but you must obey that first. Yes. And it, okay. Go yeah, ahead. Sorry. Yeah, but, but again, um, they argue yes. that, uh, that's uh, through Awomolo, yes. that Pam has in some way personalized the contempt charge. But again, shouldn't the question be asked, why did he fail to obey court order on three occasions? That is a question I think the, um, the, the lawyer should answer. That is the question he should answer the public and he should answer the court. Because already he's seeking mm. state of proceedings, which we all know. Uh, um, the um, Administration of uh, Criminal Justice Act, Section 306, that's 2015, made it clear. If it's a cross criminal matter, mm. Is a criminal matter you cannot stay proceedings. He knows this. He's a lawyer. <laughs> so asking for stay of proceedings is, is, is just is a, an academic exercise just to waste the, 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 the time of the Honorable Court. It, this, is not, this should not happen. Do, do you think that it should be subpoenaed? You, you, I mean, um, you mean the um, INEC chairman? Ine chairman. Yes. Should oh, he be subpoenaed? They, don't forget that. There's a warrant already mm. for him to be arrested and to be brought to court by, um, um, by that's tomorrow, next tomorrow, that's yes, 14th, 14th, you know, 14th of uh, August. Now, in case it does not come forth or the uh, Mr. IG also comes to say, mm. I do not know his whereabouts, mm. we couldn't find him. Then we know the next step to take. The next actions will be taken against him. He can't hold the court to ransom. He's not above the law. Mm. He's just like any other person, then subbing on him and uh, sorry, so, subbing on him it, it, already that has been done in the warrant. It's been it, warrant has been issued for his arrest already. Mm -hmm. So this is not now, oh, 
because he, he has he has wasted, he has taken to his time, and he has wasted or he, he has misused all the opportunity given to him to appear before the court. You know, the maxim of law used to be de minimis non curat lax. The law, which means that the law does not concern itself with minimal things, no. does what is going on at the moment fall within that maxim of law? No. You, you can't call that minimum things mm -hmm. anymore. Because this is still the comfort. Okay, there's an issue. They, uh, they, uh, um, they, there's a party in court. He has pleaded his case in court. Mm. And now you are the chairman of um, uh, um, Electoral Commission, INEC, and you are aware of what transpired. Then you've been, something now, you've been asked to come to court to come and tell the court your position. Mm. You can't call it minimum because this is still in the fact of issue. We need to know what is happening. We need to know why, uh, why that went the way it went. So if you are not coming forth, then the court cannot just wave it away. So when you do that today, what happens tomorrow? Meaning anybody can just decide not to honor uh, um, um, court in any way. Court will summon you or call, court will subpoena you, uh, court will call anyone and everybody goes and what do you expect? It comes to anarchy, meaning that everybody can go and do whatever they like. All right. So All where, right. Is the, where is the fate of the common man mm. if the court can give you justice? All right, then. Well, um, Olaika Ola Daniels, constitutional lawyer, well, thank you very much indeed for coming to share your thoughts with us, as always. Most of Thank you. Thank you.